A new federal regulation that went into effect February 10th has essentially shut down the youth motorcycle and ATV market in America. The Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act was signed into law by President Bush last August and sets new mandates for lead content in children's products. Critics charge the legislation is too broad and impacts products that do not pose any threat to children. To find out how this has affected local business, we're here talking with Sam McDonald with k and Motorcycles in Tulsa. And Sam, what, what have you had to do to comply with this new lead ban? Well, th this probably didn't affect my business as badly as others. I only had a couple of models that, uh, that were affected by this that we had to pull off the floor. Other businesses rely solely on the sale of 50cc motorcycles and for them they're shut down. They have, you know, they have no product to sell. So once the February 10 date hit, they were left holding the bag. They were, they were shut down, had to close the doors. Absolutely. So this only affects motorcycles and ATVs for the kids, right? Oh no, that's not true at all. Um, a lot of these products are used by adults, you know, like us that, uh, you know, put different components on them and uh, use them for all kinds of different applications from racing to uh, pit machines that they use just to play around in the yard. So the economic impact of this must be huge. Oh yeah, it's huge. Um, right now the major manufacturers, just the major manufacturers, say they have over a hundred million dollars in, in inventory right now. Um, and it, this this 50cc business has a billion dollar impact on our economy every year. You know, that's that brings in somewhere about $170 million in tax revenue, similar to the amount that uh, was given away to AIG last week. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> if it even approaches that. On March 18th, Representatives Ken Luttrell and Rex Duncan, both motorcyclists themselves, announced they will introduce a resolution in the Oklahoma legislature urging the Federal Consumer Product Safety Commission to provide an exclusion for youth ATVs and motorcycles from the toy lead limit requirements. For Ride Oklahoma Magazine, this is Brad Matheson with TwoWheelOklahoma.com.